Long. All right, Mark, thank you. The overnight freeze could damage crops all across Northeast Ohio. From grapes to peaches, local farms could be in trouble. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin joins us live from Patterson's Fruit Farm in Chesterland. And Michael, what are workers doing there to prepare for tonight's freeze? Well, we understand that the flowers have come out of the bud and they are ready to be pollinated. Now, while this has happened about three to four weeks early, so low temperatures do raise some concerns, especially when you're talking about peaches. Now, David Patterson, who's one of the co-owners of this fruit farm, says they can deal with cold temps up until about 28 degrees. Any lower than that, he says things begin to get tricky. In fact, he says the temps get to 25 degrees, he could lose 50 percent of their flowers. Now, for you and I, we've enjoyed this mild winter. For, for, for farmers like Patterson, it has sped things up a little bit. They have an irrigation system they say will help deal with the cold temperatures. Here is him explaining how they'll handle it. What we're going to do with these, with these flowers tonight is we're going to irrigate them with water. We're going to sprinkle them with water all night long, starting from when time it gets 32 degrees till it, it start to gets to about 34 to 35 tomorrow morning. We're going to sprinkle these continuously all night to try to protect these flowers and get about another 3 to 4 degrees of protection. Now, they've been doing peaches here for a few years now. They say they feel, they feel pretty confident that their irrigation system will work, and they're hoping that that will help minimize any of the damage. For him, he says every degree counts. We're live in Chesterland. On your side, I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.